All right, in this section, we're going to take a look at the chords that we're going to be soloing over. This is a 12 bar blues in a minor key. We're in the key of C minor. It starts off with a traditional format for a minor blues, but the last two bars get a little tricky. So let's just take it from the top. The first measure will consist of C minor. Second measure, F minor. Back to C minor for two bars. Measures five and six, F minor. Measures seven and eight, go back to C minor. Ninth measure moves to G minor. In the tenth measure, we're going to move up to A flat for the first half of the measure. And then we're going to play F minor for the second half of this measure. So the tenth measure would sound like this. Now the final two bars have some interesting chords. We're going to start off with a C minor chord with E flat in the bass. This could also be called E flat sixth. I'm playing on the sixth fret of the A string, fifth fret of the D and the G strings, fourth fret of the B string. I'm just going to play that for one beat. Here's the next chord. This is a G7 chord with D in the bass. So D is found on the fifth fret of the A string. Then I'm going to play third fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, third fret on the B string. One beat only for this G7 over D chord. Then I'm going to play one beat of a C minor chord, followed by one beat of an E flat 7 chord. And if you're not familiar with this voicing, I'm playing the E flat note on the sixth fret of the A string, followed by the fifth fret of the D, sixth fret of the G, fourth fret of the B string. So that's measure 11, four different chords. In the 12th measure, we're going to play D7 and D flat major 7. I'm going to take that same shape that we just played for E flat 7 and move it back to D7. I'll just move it back one fret. So here's D7. That will last for two beats. And then I'm going to play D flat major 7. And here I'm going to form a D flat major 7 by just moving the root note down to D flat. So I'll have D flat on the fourth fret of the A string. I'll play on the third fret of the D string, that'll be the major third, and then I'll play on the fifth fret of the G string. So on the backing track, I'm using this form of the chord. I'm only playing three notes for this D flat major seven chord. So here are the final two bars in context. One, two, three, four. And then the whole thing starts all over again. The time signature is what's known as 12-8. This means I have 12 eighth notes in each measure. This is very common for a blues shuffle. Another way to look at this is we have three eighth notes evenly spaced out within one quarter note, which is why I count off one and a two and a three and a four and a. So keeping that in mind, let's try and play through the entire 12 bar chord progression. Here we go. One and a two and a three and a four.
the whole thing starts all over. So there's the rhythm that we're going to be soloing over. <laughs> 